Hello again. Today's lesson, we're going to be learning the classic melody, Amazing Grace. When we're finished, it'll sound something like this. This is a good one to start with because it doesn't require us to be totally precise on that click metronome rhythm. Rather, we can be really slidey, really expressive and soulful about the timing of it. And it'll give us some really good practice with the major scale. As I explain the different notes of the song, I'm going to be inserting a tablature chart with the three strings on the cigar box guitar. Now, if you're not familiar with tablature, it's pretty simple, it's pretty easy, so don't get worried. Imagine these three lines as being the three strings of the guitar, but they're like the three strings of the guitar as if you were looking down at the neck. So it'll look like that with the lowest line of the tablature chart representing the lowest string in pitch, in this case the low G string on the guitar, and working its way up from here, again, as if you're looking down at your own neck. And the numbers indicate which fret line to play on that string. So we'll get started. So the first chunk, the first uh, six notes, amazing grace, goes like this. You start on the second fret of the low G string. You go up to the open string of the D string. followed by the 4th fret on the D string, down to the 2nd fret on the D string, open string, D string, 4th fret on the D string. So get that comfortable, then we'll move on to the 2nd chunk, which goes 2nd fret of the D string, open D string, 4th fret of the low G string, 2nd fret of the low G string. That's the next chunk. So I know sometimes when learning it note by note it can be easy to be like, where are we, what's going on? I'm... So here's what we've got so far. Then, you'll notice that we're just going to repeat that pattern up to a point with the 2nd fret, open D string, 4, 2, open, 4, so that's the same as the first chunk. Then we continue back down to the 2nd fret of the D string, and here, we change it up and go up to the 2nd fret of the high D string. So we're like three chunks in now, so get just that much comfortable. It'll sound like this. So continuing on, we start again at the 2nd fret of the D string, back up to the 2nd fret of the high G string, 4th fret of the D string, 2, open, 4, 2, 
open, move down to the low G string onto the 4th fret, to the 2 on the low G string. There's another good little chunk, even though now it's just a repetition of that very first pattern we learned. Just practice that at first. Just get the very bare bones knowing where each note goes. Don't try to make it pretty or impressive yet. When you have that really comfortable, when you don't need to think about it too hard, then start layering on that bit of style, that bit of bluesy soulfulness. And that's going to come from really using the slide. I'll show you a real a uh, little trick at the very beginning. Cause how are you gonna slide from the second fret of the low G string all the way up to the open D string? You can't slide up to that open that open string. So what you can do to still give it that style is start on the low G string on the second fret line and slide your slide all the way up to that 7th fret line because it's the, the same note as the open as the open D string but once I reach that I don't pluck the, I don't strike the low G string with my pick instead I strike the middle D string as soon as I get there So it's kind of a sleight of hand trick and it makes for a really nice smooth transition. Whenever there's a prolonged held out note at the end of the phrase, like right there, try adding that vibrato we talked about in the earlier lessons. That'll give it that nice twang. And experiment with it. Slide up to some notes, slide down from other ones and find a way to make it expressive in your own style, let your own personality come out. And then once you're really comfortable, once you're just shredding this song up like there's no tomorrow, experiment adding two strings at a time. This will be tricky, it doesn't work with every single note, and you'll want to be discerning and make your own version of it, but it could sound, this could start sounding more like this. If you do want to slide up to it, it's the seventh fret, and you can make that chord with the two strings. And then it's just the same: four, two, oh, four, two, oh, four. That one doesn't work as well. You can. Uh, what you can do is you can do the same sleight of hand trick and use your index finger, you can see there, to hold down the second fret line of the high G string. Because that chord sounds better in the song than that one. That sounds like, oh wait, you're hitting a wrong note. See? That doesn't sound right, but... Sounds a little bit better. So that's just a bunch of layers that you can build on top of once you have mastered the very basic Only once you get that can you start going And only once you get that just get better and better and it'll sound really bluesy and really soulful and everyone will go wow I promise <laughs>